Resident Evil 4 is the highest regarded game in the Resident Evil franchise, and rightfully so. It was an excellent game that's impact on the survival horror genre and third person shooters can still be felt today. It was probably my favorite game on the old GameCube, so I've been eagerly waiting to get my hands on the remake. And it looks like I finally have. Right off, you can tell that this remake has been updated to definitely be a modern game. For the first time ever, Resident Evil is now a live service game. Large open maps, streamlined and standard movement, emoting, and of course, it wouldn't be a modern game without a battle pass. Seems the developers thought to themselves, modern games don't tell stories, they sell battle passes. So they've completely removed the story from the original game and replaced it with the battle royale. But hey, after the shenanigans in the story of RE8, Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. That might not have been such a bad idea. Look, Resident Evil has always been a horror series. And at first when I played this remake, I was a little let down. Where are the scares from the original? These enemies are not scary. These maps are not scary. This is not sca- Well, this is scary. But where is the scary chainsaw guy? Or the scary old woman you can suplex? Where are the scares? Then I thought, and I began to realize. This remake is actually quite horrifying. On the surface, the graphics and art design might remind me of an old indie strand type game that I can't really remember the name of. But in reality, these enemy skins are meticulously crafted to take advantage of young boys as they begin to explore their sexuality, so that these curious young gamers who are just beginning their journey into adulthood will be manipulated into wanting, no, needing to spend money to own these lustful skins. The devs also periodically add skins from other beloved franchises, movies, TV shows, other video games, just begging for those fans of those franchises to pay money for these skins. The gameplay loop is always being tweaked in low cost ways for the developer, yet these tweaks are always just enough to keep these young gamers entertained, feeding into the addictions of playing the game. The devs always being sure that there is a reason for these gamers to come back and keep grinding that battle pass. The remake exemplifies how greedy the gaming industry has become. In the past we used to get complete $60 passion projects full with content. And now, we get live service games in alpha that slowly drip feed players content with the biggest goal in mind of having young gamers spend their parents money on V-Bucks. And that is far scarier than anything in the original Resident Evil 4.